You know, you just touched on this, um, and I want to go a little deeper into it, if you don't mind. Yeah. You you have a production deal um, to produce books for Simon & Schuster, which is it's phenomenal. Congratulations. You know, many people don't know that about you and how you have really just evolved as a businessman. How'd that book deal come um, to be? And also, you mentioned you signed people like Boosie to a book deal, Ice T to book deal. How did the deals even come? Corey Lil Wayne? Corey, Corey Wise. I signed him too. Gotcha. From Central Park, Central Park Five. Corey Wise. Yep, yep. When they see us, yeah, he's one of my authors that I signed as well. Well, how'd okay. you even get that book deal? Okay, so. I'm riding in my car one day. My manager called me. Said, "Hey man, this company called Simon Schuster. We want to do a book deal with you." I said, "How much they charge?" He said, "Twenty-five thousand. I said, "That won't even pay for the front end clip on my Benz." You know, fuck them. Tell him I said, "Fuck them." You know, what I mean, <laughs> I was ghetto, you know, <laughs> but I said, "Fuck them." You know, and so four years later, uh, Jeremy Stratus, Ruby Stratus, who's uh, one of the senior publishers over there, he called again. He said, "Tell him we got a quarter million dollars." that will buy them a new Benz, you know. So I, said, <laughs> tell them, I said, tell them uh, it's a deal. And so they gave me one point, uh, 125000 Never wrote a book in my life. I don't know where it came from. I just, I wrote that motherfucker in 30 days. Pip Algy was wrote, written in 30 days. I had a co-author named Ken Hunter, but she said, you do such an excellent job. We had to do very little editing with you. So the book was done. They gave me my other uh, money. And, you know, uh, the book, actually did really well. You know, they made millions and millions of dollars off the book. It was a bestseller. It's in like it's 22 printing. Average book don't go but two or three print. It's in its 22nd printing. They still print the book. It's still selling like uh, never before. And so that developed a relationship. So I came back five years later in 2015. I said, hey man, I want my uh, the rights to my audio book. At that time, audio books wasn't doing well. But I loved audio books. I said, this, this is going to pick up one day because you could drive and listen to books, you know. And I did a lot of traveling. So I knew it was going to pop. So they said, well, we need 50000 So what I did was I told them I agreed to it. But it was a clause in my contract with the paperback, with the hardcover book. It said when the book revert, the word revert is a very interesting word. I didn't know what it mean at the time. They said when the book revert to paperback, my royalties go from 15% to 5%. And I didn't know that. So my royalties wasn't coming in. So when they told me they're going to sell me my audio rights, what I did was I uh, I went on the internet and I uh, got me a contract. I hooked it up, put a Jewish thing on there, you know, uh, you know, Glenn Bird, you know, and uh, as it was my lawyer, you know, and uh, I, I told myself I'm ready to, to do, the, do the deal. So I went to Manhattan and I'm in the Simon Schuster building. We're sitting in the room with all the lawyers. Motherfuckers graduated from Harvard, Yale, Columbia University. They're smart motherfuckers. And so I, I, I didn't want them to read the contract first. I said, let me just sign. Let me sign a check, you know, right quick, you know, endorse the check, you know. So they said, OK. So I act like I endorsed the check, but I did not flip it over and left it on the middle of the table. And I said, you know, you know, do y'all want, you know, whatever. So they scanned through the contract. I had a clause in there that the, the royalties of the uh, pimpology would come from the future royalties of pimpology. They didn't understand what I said, you know. They looked at it and uh, they endorsed it. As soon as they endorsed it, I said, I got used to the restroom. I left. My publisher called me and said, hey, Ken, you never signed the check. I said, what check? He said, that was the deal. I said, did they read the contract? And uh, so he laughed and, you know, it was a big thing. I'm like a, I'm an iconic figure over at Simon Schuster because here I am, a ghetto boy, you know, from the ghetto, the slums of Milwaukee, Chicago, you know, ex-convict. I just got over on, you know, five top flight lawyers. You know what I'm saying? And I own 100% mm. rights of my audio book. So you go to audiobook.com, you're going to see publisher, Kid Ivy. And they liked it that. They liked that my shrewd business this. They, they liked that I was a, a shrewd businessman. And they said, hey, 
you know, we want to be partners with you. And that's how we became partners. We've been making money, millions of dollars ever since. What's up guys? Thanks for sticking with me to the end of the video. Truly appreciate you. If you like anything you heard here today, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you know anybody that can benefit from this message, feel free to share. Peace and love. Make every move a power move. And I'll catch you all on the next video.